Bueno, tenemos un cohete electrónico de Nueva Zelanda con carga secreta para la oficina de reconocimiento de los Estados Unidos. Un minuto del lanzamiento. Roca la voz. Javi, muchas gracias Javi por esa donación. El vehículo está con potencia interna, o sea, con sus baterías internas. El power, me encanta como lo dicen en australiana, no, neozelandés, perdón. Lock slow complete, lock system in research. Oh, helium anti gathering disabled. Stage one, stage two, press for flight. High flow engine purge enabled. Water deluge activated. T minus 20 seconds and counting. Segundos, 15. Yes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have left off. Stage one proportion is nominal. High voltage battery discharge, nominal. Our 28th electron launch vehicle has successfully lifted off the path and is on its way to space. Todo nominal. Before it gets there, it has a number of critical milestones to pass through. The first of which is called Maximo Q. Maximo Q. Max Q is the first test in electron's journey, where it experiences maximum aerodynamic pressure o where the forces on the de nuevo, que Max Hu es la máxima resistencia aerodinámica del, corre, del cohete, es la parte más crítica de esto. Past Max Q. Bien, pasó Max Q. There's the call. Mission Control has reported Electron has successfully passed through Max Q, its first milestone after lifting off from the east coast of New Zealand. The nine Rutherford engine was Electron's first stage of performing well, and we're ready for the next series of milestones in the launch process. Up next is main engine cutoff, known as MECO, which immediately precedes stage one separation. MECO allows the vehicle to decelerate slightly before the first y estas llamas se están abriendo porque se están expandiendo estamos mirando el cohete hacia abajo y es que el cohete sube mira la altitud acá arriba 37 kilómetros va subiendo la atmósfera queda menos densa tiene teóricamente menos donde agarrarse donde empujar esas llamas entonces se abren se parte más se van a ser menos eficientes y esos motores Rutherford se nota clarito entonces ahora los apagan, se separan las etapas, se separan las cofias y luego enciende la otra etapa, la segunda etapa. Ahí, Ico. 
Miko confirm. Miko porque Main Engine cut off. Separación con éxito y ahí enciende la segunda etapa. La segunda etapa está optimizada para ir a estar para estar en el espacio. The single space optimized Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage is glowing red as the nozzle radiates heat from the exhaust. Because the vehicle has now cleared the majority of Earth's atmosphere, we can get rid of the payload fairing to shed some extra weight. We should see that on our screens shortly. Fairing jettison succeeded. And there it is. You can hear the payload fairing tumbling away on your screens now. The NRO payload is now exposed to space in preparation for payload deployment later in the mission. This fairing will burn up as it re-enters the atmosphere, while the second stage continues on. Una vez que deja su carga, esta etapa, ¿qué es lo que pasa? Invierte, o sea, pones motor hacia adelante, enciende, parece acelerar y reingresa quemándose, se quema. At about 10 minutes into the mission, the kick stage will separate and its Curie engine will precisely deliver the payload to its intended orbit. Luego hay una etapa siguiente que es la Curie, que es similar a la que llevó Capstone a la Luna, y es la que termina de colocar la carga. Escuchen el The shape of an orbit is important. In fact, the entire capstone mission we launched last month was to test the efficiency of the near rectilinear halo orbit, or NRHO, around the moon. In most electron missions, our second stage delivers the payload to an elliptical orbit. We then use the Curie engine on the kick stage to circularize that orbit, basically make it circular, to deliver the payload to its new home in space. Quick update, Mission Control is reporting the vehicle is healthy and making good progress on wood to deliver its NRO payload. If you were ever curious, when Electron takes off, it weighs 13 tons, but 90% of that is actually Electron is so efficient that el only weighs one percent of the combustible. Optimize our weight. We also use a carbon composite shell that in Thank you. 200 seconds to go. Electron is one of a próximo que pasa ahora de este cohete no de las turbobombas no son como en todos los demás cohetes que tienen los se usan combustible ellos usan baterías eléctricas es el único que lo que hace haciendo lo mismo lo que hacen ahora y está marcado acá es batería Jetson Cambia las baterías o usa la reserva, o sea la segunda. Y esa por el peso, que es mucho, la tiran al espacio, la desechan. O sea, cae a la atmósfera, cae, cae al planeta. Hard swap successful. Battery gas in control. Es importantísimo esto. There you have it. It happens quick, so hopefully you caught a glimpse as those batteries were ejected from the vehicle. Dice que se vio. A ver si se ve. Vamos para atrás. Acá está. Esta es la batería. Acá se ve clarísimo. El pase para atrás. Estamos repitiendo. Estén atentos. Hot swap successful. Ahí se fue. Battery gas in control.
The vehicle is continuing well onto orbit and we're making good progress in our journey to payload deployment. Before, you may have heard Katie talking about how much of the mass of a space rocket is propellant or fuel. But what happens as we use it up? Electron uses most of that fuel in just eight minutes, which creates a lot of empty space inside the rocket. We actually use helium gas to maintain equilibrium and pressure between the inside and outside of the rocket. <laughs> En los 8 minutos utilizar el 90% del combustible y, y como queda vacío el tanque, lo que hacen es rellenarlo con helio. Para seguir teniendo presión. Los videos de la luz verde de nuestro motor de stage 2. La luz verde de nuestro motor de primera fase inspiró esta segunda fase, pero ellos operan en fundamentalmente diferentes ambientes. Rutherford nozzles are designed with a focus on corrosion resistance and environmental robustness, as it must survive the super high temperatures and pressures during launch. Our second stage engines are designed for space propulsion, so we instead focus on making sure it can cool itself off as it gets extremely hot without convection in the vacuum of space. You can see that the rocket lab factory is in the rocket lab allowing our engineers to easily make small tweaks to make our engines more and more efficient after each flight. Parece que estamos adentro de la Enterprise. Enter burnout detect mode. Stage 2 propulsion. Our next big milestone for Electron is second engine cutoff, or SECO. Right, Just like Miko. Se viene el segundo corte de motor. SECO en inglés. Por las siglas en inglés. Y luego se separan las etapas. Otra vez. Pero ahí queda la última. Ellos le llaman kick stage, o sea, tapa de patio, como que le dan una pata. No parece muy estable la combustión, dice Treno. Eh, dice que no, pero funciona, ¿no? Bueno, corte, corte. Bueno, buena órbita de transferencia. Stage 3, separation confirmed. We've received confirmation from Mission Control that Electron's second stage engine has shut down and the kick stage has successfully separated. Now en route to deliver the payload to its destination in orbit. Over the next hour or so, the kick stage will make its way to the correct location in low Earth orbit ahead of payload deployment. Thank you to the NRO for choosing to fly on Electron. Electron launch. Our first successful interplanetary mission to our manifest after Capstone was successfully inserted into its ballistic lunar trajectory last week, we are actively recruiting the next generation of space talent as we grow and In particular, we're hiring mission operators for our mission control center. If you want to be at the controls of some of the most exciting new ventures in commercial space exploration as humanity returns to the moon, Mars and beyond, Apply today by visiting rocketlabusa.com. Están reclutando gente. En visión contra el humano. Sigue creciendo. Vamos a repetirlo ya ahora. Pero la gente que está viendo el corto les agradezco enormemente el apoyo. Nos vemos en la próxima.